In your book, you say that taxes are at the core of our democracy. What, what do you mean by that? Well, that's in the, the first book, Perfectly Legal, but that's exactly oh. what I say. 2,500 years ago, ancient Athens, if you were living 2,500 years ago, this was a paradise on earth. I mean, these are people who had civilization. They had theater. They had arts. And they also had an absolute flat tax. Everybody in Athens paid the same tax. And if you didn't pay the tax, they marched you out to the uh, outer edge of the city and sent you away, which was basically a death sentence. Well, for 80% of the people in Athens, paying this tax was their greatest burden. It was an awful burden for them to meet, and it caused terrible social problems. And so for a couple of centuries, they chewed on this problem, and then they came up with a moral insight. The, there is no economic gain without civilization. Think about that for a minute. If we lived in a state of anarchy, if we lived in the jungle, you can't have a house or a business. Someone can come and just take it away from you. Civilization makes all of this wealth around us possible. And so the moral theory they came up with was, since you can only become wealthy by living in a civilized state, the greater the economic gain you've achieved from living in that civilized society, the greater your duty to maintain that society with your taxes. And when they invented this, taxation based on ability to pay, they invented democracy. Every classic worldly philosopher has been in favor of what we now call progressive taxation. The more you have, the greater the share of your income or wealth or whatever we measure that you pay in taxes. Adam Smith wrote in favor of this. A lot of people will tell you it's a Karl Marxian communist idea. Adam Smith wrote about this. Karl Marx hadn't even become a gleam in his father's eye. David Ricardo, John Stuart Mill, James Mill, John Locke, a man who hated taxes. Even he was in favor of progressive taxation. President Bush says he's in favor of progressive taxation. And so this idea is intimately connected with democracy. Taxation and democracy go hand in hand. And societies that are totalitarian, dictatorial, feudal, tend to have tax systems like what we're moving towards, that take from the many to give to the few the reverse of the Athenian principle.